nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Main engines firing, and we have liftoff of the first ILS proton rocket of 2010 from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, carrying the Intelsat-16 communication satellite on board. At about 10 seconds after liftoff, the rocket did a roll maneuver, and it will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, or Max-Q. Max-Q being the maximum aerodynamic load on the vehicle. It corresponds to the Mach 1.5 and occurs at approximately one minute, four seconds after liftoff. Let's listen. Five is proceeding well. Control system parameters are steady. And as the rocket Launch continues to light up the clear night sky, stable. everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle heads in an easterly direction with a flight azimuth of about 61.25 degrees. looks good. The flight is proceeding well. We've Control Max, system Max parameters Q. are steady. And despite the chilly weather conditions, I know that many folks are outside at Baikonur watching, hearing and feeling stable. the rumble of the proton rocket. One minute, 30 seconds into orbit, into flight. It's your and roll are nominal. All is nominal. And we're coming up on the first stage separation the from the second stage, set to occur at two minutes and two seconds. And on this clear night, we should be able to watch this separation. Launch vehicle engine operation is good. We have a beautiful clear night. Engine ignition. We have first stage separation. Second stage. And we have confirmation of a good separation between the first and second stages. The second second stage engines actually ignite while still attached to the first stage, and the exhaust from those engines escapes through the open grid work Control between stage one and nominal. stage two. Combustion chamber pressure looks good. Launch vehicle stabilization is steady. And it looks like we have a signal of ignition on all four second stage engines. The mission continues. Second stage to engines normal. will burn for nearly three and a half minutes, carrying the payload further into orbit. Combustion chamber pressures are within specs. The next key milestone will be stage two and stage three separation at L plus five minutes and thirty seconds. 14 seconds later, the payload 